A Pokemon that seemingly the entire Pokemon community wants to see receive a Mega Evolution in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is Flygon, and it's understandable as to why. It's a fantastically designed Pokemon with a ton of potential that has so far went unkindled in previous Pokemon games. There's plenty of room for improvement, and in today's Mega Evolution prediction video, I'll be discussing evidence as to why we might receive a Mega Flygon, how its design can be updated and changed, as well as an in-depth look at how its stats and ability can be improved. In the comments below, I'm interested in which Pokemon you want to see Mega Evolve. Perhaps I'll cover that Pokemon in a video this week. Anyways, welcome back Kanto University, my name is P. Winall. Let's begin today's speculation. Flygon is a Pokemon possessed by the secret base expert Orun, and through the course of your adventure it is confirmed that you will battle him. This is a striking similarity to the contest idol Lycia, who partners with Altaria, who, as I'm sure you guys know, has received a Mega Evolution in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. While we can't draw any parallels as one instance of something occurring does not indicate a trend, this little coincidence could be a subtle hint towards Flygon receiving a Mega Evolution in a future announcement. As to why there's a delay in this announcement, I'm sure Game Freak understand the popularity of Flygon, and want to use its Mega Evolution announcement near the time of release as a marketing ploy to get more people interested in purchasing the games. Now, onto the fun part of the video, let's discuss improvements Flygon can undertake. In terms of design, this concept artwork by Tommy Case of DeviantArt is a perfect representation of what I want Mega Flygon to look like. Its wings appear more bug-like, taking it back to its bug roots, as some of you guys know the Flygon appears in the bug egg group. However, that shouldn't be treated as a bad thing, its wings do look amazing, it looks more regal, more majestic. Add in some more detail on the rest of its body and make it look just totally badass, and we've got a great Mega Evolution design. Once again, I just want to state the artist of this design, as I can't promise a link to his work will be in the description, however, there's a link on screen now. The creator of this concept is Tommy Case of DeviantArt, and a huge thank you goes out to him for his work. An awesome new flashy design is all well and good, but without some new buffs to its stats, it will still languish with lower usage in the competitive Pokemon metagame. So, Flygon is a bit of a weird Pokemon, having pretty balanced stats with physical attack and speed being a highlight, with pretty average stats all over. However, it would be amazing to see its physical attack receiving a huge boost, making it level with a Pokemon like Garchomp, whom it shares a similarity in typing, and is a fantastic example as to how great a Dragon Ground type can be. Heck. Give the bulk of the 100 stat boost to its physical attack and round it off with a very nice 150 base physical attack. 30 added base speed will mean it can outspeed a lot of its offensive competitors yet still be counterable, with priority moves like Ice Shard running Riot, and a small boost to, say, its physical defense and it would be a fantastic offensive late game sweeper, perhaps a little bit of a glass cannon, but I can definitely see its usage soaring thereafter. Its levitate ability is honestly pretty good, Maybe something better would suffice, but it's not in need of a drastic change. Maybe Sandstorm would be good, just like how Mega Charizard Y brings out the sun. Just to get a little bit more residual damage out on opponent's Pokemon and give Flygon ability that's actually somewhat useful to it. So, that's pretty much it for my predictions as to what we can expect if Flygon is to receive a Mega Evolution in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Leave a comment down below of what Pokemon you want to see receive a Mega Evolution, and perhaps I'll cover it in a future video. One of the general complaints I saw in the comments was that you guys don't see Kanto University as a true community, just a bunch of guys making Pokemon videos, and I want to take on board your feedback. 500 likes would be really appreciated for this to become a regular series, and feel free to look in the description. There's a link to my channel where I do much more regular Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire news, speculation, and analysis videos. Feel free to subscribe for a lot more content from me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Peace out.